The gentleman will rehearse. Ah, oh, fuck me. He said leg extended something something. I did. It. All right, so all right, so yeah, two, I guess. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Northlings. Come with me. You tell me what to do. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Yes, your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for chests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. In grimi et art kerze, daifen aden in karn et marvut, emir var emreis. Those aren't words. Oh. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer et do orde. Valian nomen, vat gun favot. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I'd drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. But it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. The sorceress. Take him to the sorceress. Mm, the boo box. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not bother. Need not bother. Oh, that's my head so itchy in just this one spot. It is driving me absolutely bonkers. But it's past noon. It's like literally just one spot. What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Helibard the second, Prince of Elanda. I wish I could like 
face my camera that way and keep walking forward. Mind if I interrupt? Why not join in instead? We're discussing neutrality. How difficult it is to preserve. Mm -hmm. Know a thing or two about that. Care to explain? Never changes. I try to stay out of things, stand aside. Then comes an urgent summons, and an offer I can't refuse. Enough about that. Mind if we change the subject? So, talk to the Emperor. Hmm. Why did he summon you? So not even you know. No. But I wager it's an ordinary witch's contract. Mm-hmm. Some weirbubs. See ya. See ya. Soon, mind you. Alright. Where did Humboy go? This was there. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Okay. We'll sharpen the end. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire. Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. Oh, oh. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now, do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm hmm. And it seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. <laughs> so they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice, so please. Let's not belabor the pros and cons, and instead, focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe, before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it. Perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trip them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk oh. another encounter like that. Can't. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. You're the best tracker I know. You must find her, That's Geralt. Me. That's me. Before the wild hunt does. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. Mm -hmm. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. Right, That's right. it. No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors, but there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. 
What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently. It blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Damn. I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? It's a pretty good Let's excuse. It's all right. It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Yes, this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and Not gonna happen. You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? I think so. Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. Maybe I could have some of my okay. armor lined Same with it. you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. Tell me what to do. And Geralt. I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I shall be waiting. All right. Well then, cheerio. Oh, shit. Word. Oh, what was that? Loot, huh? Shit, can I loot more shit? Oh, I can. Rig up there, just. Let's see. Who are the hunters, you ask? Folks like you and yours, I reply. The decent kind, haters of lies, doers of good, the kind you... I'm not reading all that. Alright, so... Does that even help me with anything? No, that's just like lore. Okay. That was... Okay, see, I thought like maybe this would give me something. Alright, alright. Anywho, out of here. Beep, beep. Uh, is it another book? Oh no. Yennefer, my dear friend, thank you for your letter. Forgive me for not answering your earlier attempt to reach me via Megascope. I am trying to limit my magic communication to an absolute minimum. One never knows who's listening, don't you agree? I am delighted that you have found a position at our gracious Emperor's court and wish to have the best and wish you have the best of luck in the search for his daughter. If it Nope. It is <laughs> it is good to know that Empire's intentions were for uh were for her have become more interaction how shall I put it? Mundane. Uh, perhaps in these circum circumstances, an agreement regarding the lodge will prove possible at all. In response to your first question, I state beyond all doubt that Siri has not appeared anywhere south of Yoruga. Believe me, I could recognize her magic signature in my sleep. I have not had any contact with Trist for a long time. I only know that things in Novigrad, Novigrad have turned on it'll turn taking an ill turn <clears throat> she mentioned something earlier about fleeing to Kavir. i was i am afraid that in the current political climate that amounts to an impossible daydream i hope i will be able to join you in vizima 
First, however, I must take care of some unfortunate uh, yet urgent matters in Beauclair. Beauclair. With my fondest regards, Frigia Ego. P.S. Thank you for the news about Geralt. He always seems to land on his feet, doesn't he? I do be landing on my feet like a cat. Directly out of Northern Ambassador Varnitra. Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants could keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Vain hope. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin. His ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so Not spring, Radovid. Instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. Hmm. Is that a note of admiration I hear? What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality oh, I thought enough not to one. lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented even. The Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Amir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm hmm So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. The Bloody Baron, okay. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenfurt, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is... rather... well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance. And scapegoats. 
The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty who started the war, who profits from it. Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. His top jaw doesn't move. It's it just the lips. Yeah. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Mm. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet. King Bran is a feeble old man. <laughs> From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Yeah, but what if it's like in Lord of the Rings, where that one guy is like poisoning the king's brain? You know? He's secretly controlling him. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. <laughs> Have I leveled up? Am I leveling up? Did I level 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 up? I have one point. This is air deflection. That'd be good to learn. I know I should probably put more points into one of these. Actually, I am going to. Oh, oh. Fuck it. We're putting one point into that. Um, I mean, that's what I served. That's what I served. And what do I put there? Oh, these things. What goes there? Oh, uh, one of the first ones, maybe? Okay, so right now I can only have two of these. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I understand. I understand, and then one of these. Uh, fast attack, strong attack, defense, marksmanship, battle trance. This all, wait, this is one of your core abilities. It's always active. Blow, blow this land during combat, generate adrenaline points. Each adrenaline point increases weapon damage by 10%. Stop. What are you doing? Oh. 
Hä? Ah. Okay, that's cool. Extra vitality. Word. Who is it that needs help, or what is it? You? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. I don't want to play Gwent. See you. What's going? What? What's? What? How do, oh, world map, world map, world map, thank you, goodness gracious. Jack clicks this, isn't it? No. That's cool. Uh, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you? Hold on. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. But am I tripping, or do I not see it? <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, we want such travel Harold there. and Jennifer would be united, but something even more important happened in Bezima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. As this chair goes, I need a new chair. <laughs> well, that doesn't look like fun. For purchasing our own expansion, your currently tracked quest has been changed to the first quest of Hearts of Stone. Yet, we only recommend once you hit level 30. But while playing uh, Hearts of Stone, you can encounter a room right? They have a blah 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 blue. So what, should I not do this part right now? Because I'm definitely not level 30. Uh, uh, 
Let's see. Oh, yikes, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so these are sort of like level things. Where is it? What am I? It's nine. Yeah, I should probably do this one. Stop eating things. See, she's in Velen, Novigrad, or Skalish. No, you gonna tell me what fucking town that is? Rizzle. Rizzilli. Okay, so I'm already in Velen. Okay. Well, then maybe that's one that like I sort of like do all along the way, you know, as I talk to different people. So maybe we'll focus on this one. Go to the end of the crossroads. We'll do, Governor. All right. Let's see. You're not there either. Yeah, you are. You a lie. There you are. Found you. Found you. I'm. Oh. Uh, is there not a. Uh. Oh, uh, it's the closest one. Uh, okay. That's cool. I mean, actually, that might not be such a long distance. <clears throat> I'm bitching over here. First world problems, man. First spread. Roach! Come here. Alright. Go, go. Cut around these. Actually, you know. Fuck it. Let's dance. Thank you, Lulf. Uh, ah, yeah, it's on the mini map. It ran right past it. Let's wait till we get into some alchemy. And I guess cooking. That's it, Roach. Anything else here I can steal from you, poor people? <laughs> Alright, sorry I took everything edible.
I'm sorry. What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. I like his suit, kind of. Where I, find you. I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Okay. Hey. What is that? Oh, I took off running the other direction. It was fast. It looked faster than me. Well, maybe like it. Move it. Dude. I'm, I'm coming, man. Trying at least. Show me what you got. Unbind me before the next ones come. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Marigold Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black one smashed it to bits. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees. Fucking bursting with patriotism, they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I'd like to thank you somehow, but I'm not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. Y y y yeah. All right, let's see. Over and spread. Monster heart. <laughs> Hello. Give me your secrets. Crown or brand. All right, Lulz. Oh shit, do I got, did I miss it? What? No, I'm gonna keep going straight and then cut across. What are you trying to tell me to do? Run, Roach. Or, oh yeah, it just I was running in the wrong direction, that's what it was. I just killed your friends, I'm gonna leave you be, okay?
scared. Strange, uh, what? Looking for a man goes by Hendrick. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him? What about? What about something? Strong. What about? What about? You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. <laughs> Haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape, Borka. Who's this? In? Brave warrior, <laughs> looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Buy everybody around. Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. If we share around, won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? On my way to Novigrad. City of whores and homebuilders. To your health and mine. Bottoms up. If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. Step in the hood. And there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. Okay, well we we kinda kept that one under control, huh? Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Hmm. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning, saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Darren's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inky. Thanks, Inky. <laughs> I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Wait, how? How? What am I? Did you need a fast travel? Oh lord! Wait, can I? Is there a fast travel thing there? I can't tell. I don't think there is. Yay! Hey yeah. Hey yeah. Hey yeah. Ow, ow, ow.
and sick black ones being sent to Jamaica, where it is the box of our own villages near Kasima. Picking up quests, you know, picking up side quests if I can. Brother friend. against brother What's your will business? draw. Bloody Baron no Fathers, Lord. their cubs will spurn. Large <laughs> and small. Do any of you have a name? The seed and wither the crops. No. No. Nobody's got a name. Fine. Whatever. Where did my horse go? Roach. That's it, Roach. Oh, get here. Or stamina. Oh, in the little cliff side. Air is strange. I'm dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day. In the mist. Fuck, man. Fucking stupid ass fence. Get out of there. Get out of my way. Thank you. Oh, shit. Not that. Bitch. Be gone. Leave me be, whoever you is. Get away. I literally just helped you. Literally just helped you. Calm down. It's over. Aye. It's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream, how he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see? And the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange. The tones. I cannot hear them. The Ice King. What happened there? Save terror through and through. Hendrix screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. Oh. 
Damn. Fucking ring wraiths over here. That was the ring wraith noise. Sorry, I didn't know that. The terrors from Lord of the Rings. The village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No, and I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. <laughs> hmm. Okie dokie. So then, that means. Uh, hello, darkness, my old friend. Where is the fucking door? Shut up. <laughs> Just wonderful. Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff. As if hung out to dry midwinter. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. His jerk. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood. Congealed. He hidden in his boots. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. Alright, it's following this keyhole, huh? Hinge door underneath the rogue, There's I'm guessing. Draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, I should do some cleaning. Spring cleaning. Where was it? Winter outside. I can't remember now. Un momento, por favor. Medi medicinal. What was that? Oh, use the ladder. Missing Tamara Stranger, daughter of the Bloody Baron, presumed kidnapped, hearty reward for whoever finds her or brings her in. Well, we know that that shit never happens in today's world, let alone their world. Hmm, interesting. What was it? I missed it. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrick was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. <clears throat> Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. 
So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle, or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talked to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp. Murdered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Pocket of country. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron and some witch. Damn. Damn. Something else in here. Okay. Just looking for loot. Dead bodies over here. Roach, did you kill some shit? I get you your dog. All right. Let's see. So now that means that we have to go to the bear. Yep, go to Baron's castle. It looks like we're riding. Giddy up. Giddy up, baby. Screw Run, Roach. Let's eat us some bread. Alright. I really need to be gathering some shit, but... It's cool, too. We do gotta move along in the storyline a little bit before we can do some more stuff. Oh, wrong button. Lost your nerve? So apparently they might have been a little bit too much for me to take right just then. Um, Move it. Don't know why they ran off, but, you know, not going to bitch about it. Because uh, I'm going to take it as a win. I totally kicked their ass, and you can't prove otherwise. Can't do it. See, all right, we just call we get right away. 
across this bridge or not even across the bridge uh. yeah uh, uh, uh. Maria uh, uh, uh. Yeah, saw that one. Who's this other one? Is that the same? No, okay. And and tomorrow. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me to halt. I tell you to halt. Depends who's asking. A witcher. Me. Want to talk to bitch? Him. Yeah. And I want to plow the lovely Queen Cyril. <laughs>